911, location of your emergency. Yes, a uh, young man across the street had been shooting, shooting a gun. The bullet come through the window and went through the window and come through the sofa. See that? He, somebody, he's still shooting. Okay. He's still shooting. This is where I turned down Aurora Road, Aurora Street, and then turned, blacked out all my lights. So I was coming down the street. This is where I observed black man with no shirt, he's wearing shorts, walking around real agitated, I set up my car like this. Uh, I turned on my lights on the, on the subject and he froze, almost like he was getting ready to run. And that's when I flipped on the blue lights and reached for the door handle. And right then he immediately reached in both pockets, pulled out the gun and just do 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 just kept shooting. I, I could see the muzzle flash and the rounds penetrating through the windshield into the headrest. Uh, glass was flying, and it's I, right when I realized I could see the muzzle flash, just hopped out, drew my firearm. I immediately started engaging as I'm backing up, backing up, getting lower, getting lower, because the rounds are start, starting to come in. There's several rounds that went uh, traced the side of my car right here and I started tried to get lower and lower to try to get away from the gunfire um, he was approaching the front of my door and I, 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 start, I started rolling back and I was walking him up on him as he was walking him down on me um, but I was coming back and I kept rolling back as I kept rolling back and rolled out behind the, the trunk of my car this is where he fell and Start with stop. Shot fire! World just Delta, shot fire, so that's my six. Well, all units 1033 on west, 1033 on west, all units 1012 on north, shot fire. It was a fraction of a second. From the time he went into his pockets, everything was just like, stop. It, it literally looked like a firing squad just opened up on his car. There were so many rounds every which way and that just really hit home and there were shell casings everywhere. It looked like the road was was a brass road. There's just the glimmer of brass growing from the uh, the street lights. It's a miracle because at, at the time my fiance she was nine months pregnant with my baby girl so it was it's crazy. Just special. Close call, the first round going through the windshield missed me by an inch, and then the windshield, the glass. Uh, when I was, as I was falling down, the, the gravels, I can hear the, the car hiss, snap. Uh, it's, everything was, you know, I've, I've been in many gunfights overseas, but that one, he had, he had the drop on me, just because of where he was, and I was still in my car, trying to pull over, and it was, very lucky. Who knows what this guy would have accomplished. And his goal, in my opinion, was to provoke somebody to come outside to see what was going on so he could target them. He had not a care in the world. Nick knew that responding to this call. We all knew that responding to this call. And Nick put his life on the line to protect life. You know, when I think of what a well-rounded deputy is, I think of Nick. He always goes out and does an excellent job. I never questioned any of his decisions. I never had to ask him. He was the hardest working, the highest stats on our, on our squad. He is definitely a huge asset to the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. He's just a jam up, stand up guy. He is as genuine of a person as, as you can imagine. He says something, he means it. Hello, I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivey of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. I want to take a minute to congratulate Deputy Nick Worthy of our agency on this incredible honor. 
Nick is a true professional and hero that defines commitment and professionalism in our agency. Nick, we couldn't be more proud of you for how you've represented our agency and law enforcement officers across the country. Congratulations, my friend. Thank <music> you.